Welcome back to the channel guys, Simply Pops here, and today Apple has released iOS 16.2 to the general public, featuring the brand new Apple Music Sync feature, which by the way, you guys wanted me to make a full-blown video on it, here it is. Apple Music Sync is going to remove the vocals and just have the instrumental of the song, which is pretty incredible. Now, by the way, this isn't going to work on every single song that comes out. I'm actually going to enable light mode, so it's a little bit more easier to see on camera. Or is it easy to see on camera? I don't know actually. But basically, if I play Metro Boomin's album, you could be able to have this icon here on the side, which is pretty neat. And you could basically tap and hold it, and you could basically remove the vocals, allowing you to sing. This is pretty neat. I've been using it on my iPhone 13 Pro, and I gotta tell you, it works wonders. Now, you are gonna hear a little bit of the vocals, just a tiny bit, but it does an incredible job removing the vocals. Um, and I'll say, you just have the instrumental. Now, I don't wanna get any copyright, so um, you gotta have to try it out for yourself. It works wonders. It has me going back to certain songs and albums to see how it is with just the beat. And I'm trying to wonder if the days of instrumentals on YouTube are dead because we have this now. And even Kanye's stem player, you know, <laughs> Apple basically stole that and just have it with this. So yeah, so this is a game changer. But the only caveat is this isn't going to be available for every single iPhone. Just because you can run iOS 16.2 doesn't mean you have the compatibility of Apple Music Sing. And that's another thing too, you know, Apple optimized the dynamic island. So when you play music, it actually looks more pronounced when you see the dynamic island play in media. So I like how the waveform is a little bit more pronounced. Um, you still have your same gestures when you tap it, it launched the app that's playing the media. Um, but you just have very subtle visual differences compared to iOS 16.1. You guys can see my iPhone is totally different. I just have custom icon packs. I have some blinks as a widget. This looks so clean. I have the cleanest iPhone setup right now in the game. Apple Music Sing is pretty incredible. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Now, it doesn't stop there. We have a brand new application called Freeform. Apple been really advertising this like crazy and it's gonna allow you to collaborate with others and whatever you do on this device, other people can see that you have saved on your contacts. So let me show you an example. Okay, so I have my iPhone 13 on the right and I have my 14 on the left and here's how Freeform works. Whoever has this link, right? So you create a link on one end, you can send it to your friend or your coworkers, whatever the case may be. And essentially you can sketch out some ideas and you can see everything in real time. And this is gonna be incredible for doing homework. You can go crazy, you can invite more people. And at any time you can set up a video call, audio call, even if you want, you can add a little text box too. So you can see it's, it's doing it in real time. This is a very powerful application. You can add pictures too if you want, or take a picture using the camera, scan documents. So possibilities are endless, as you can see. And even on the other side, you can make some changes too as well. Okay, next up, if you take it over to the settings app and then you take it over to your name, you tap on your name, we're gonna take over to the iCloud settings. Now, iCloud received a pretty big update uh, and that is the feature called advanced data protection. Now this is keeping all your data encrypted is is um, is end-to-end -end encryption. Now this is very serious security. Um, I, you know, let me let me enable dark mode. I think it's easier to see with dark mode than light mode. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, so basically advanced data protection, iCloud is gonna encrypt your data, keeping it secure. Nobody's gonna be able to access your data but you, but you will need to have a key. I could honestly, I could make an entire video talking about this, but essentially this is just keeping all your data encrypted. Yeah, by default, this is not even enabled. You have to enable it yourself. You're responsible for your data recovery. If you forget that password and you lost your key, you lost your data. Like this is nothing to play around with. Nonetheless, this is just enhancing your security even further. Now, next up, this is for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max users. If you take it over to the settings, you go into display and you go into always on display. You now have a toggle for show wallpaper and notifications. I've done a complete test showcasing this. Having an iPhone 14 Pro with a wallpaper versus one with an all black wallpaper. Just check out that video. Highly encourage you guys. So not only you can disable the always on display, you can now disable your wallpaper from showing. So in this case, this is how the always on display is going to look like. 
and people complain it it looks too bright it looks like the screen is literally always on but arguably you could say that it looks good but it may drain some battery life um, but now you have an option where you can turn off the wallpaper and have an all black wallpaper um, basically the classic always on display that you know and love and then there's an option where you can disable your notifications which honestly i think i might want to disable my notifications i don't want to see my notifications on my lock screen so yeah so um let me know down in the comments down below if you have an iphone 14 pro you're planning on enabling it again now that you have this feature but i can see why some people would disable it especially if you have an apple watch uh with an always on display already so i would understand maybe you want to just have this off this could serve some battery life now also staying in the settings if you go into the airdrop now you have an option called well they removed an option so instead of everyone you have everyone for 10 minutes now to me this is a downgrade china didn't like the option where everybody can get an airdrop so apple basically complied and having everyone for 10 minutes everybody in the u.s should be able to have an everyone toggle alongside with the 10 minutes the apple tv app received an update to support live activities for sports scores and if you go into tv here you can go down and you could be able to see live activities and you can be able to allow live activities so this is going to be handy especially if you have a iphone 14 pro or pro max you could be able to see the live scores on top of the dynamic island now on icloud you have now on icloud if you enable private relay you can now hide your ip address location so further enhancing that security so if you go into safari you tap on the um the character letters the the double a and you now can be able to show your ip address or you can hide it so this is a enable to show your ip address right and you tap on continue now it's showcasing your ip address now you have the ability to hide it now this is only for icloud plus subscribers so you need to subscribe to icloud to get this feature further enhances security okay so now taking it to the weather application i love the weather app by the way major overhaul so if i go into a day for example i could be able to uh go through the minute by minute instead of hour by hour so um so you can see the temperatures it's getting cold out there guys um and you can see what the temperature is going to be minute by minute opposed to hour by hour if you go into the messages app you can now search for photos so for in this case i typed in cloud so now if you want to quickly search up a photo you could just type it in for example car it's going to come up all car photos uh on your messages now another thing too that's new if you press the side button five times you activate sos so one two three four five so now you have your sos so now you can slide the call emergency services and oh no 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 uh and boom okay notifying contacts okay so very serious so if you double press the side button five uh oh hello hello uh, it was by accident on my iPhone. Ooh, emergency services called me. <laughs> oh man, they fast. So use that to your discretion. If you press that side button five times, you activate SOS. And once you slide that, boom. And taking it over to the lock screen real quick, you have some brand new widgets. So if I go into customize and we can add in a widget, we have um, the health widgets. So for uh, medications or meds, um, and also you have the sleep widget so you can, um, if you utilize sleep tracking on your apple watch you could be able to see your data and your schedule so i actually use sleep tracking a lot on my apple watch ultra and i'm, I'm kind of curious to see this widget in action let me see for example so yeah so i actually use the sleep tracking here um not sure if i really maybe i could use this on a lock screen so when i enable the sleep uh do not disturb or focus i could be able to see this widget on the lock screen and maybe have a different wallpaper I'm working on a i'm working on an ios lock screen or home screen setup for ios 16 so stay tuned for that make sure you guys subscribe to the channel comment down below what you guys thinking so far about ios 16.2 also you have optimization to crash detection you have bug fixes you have some storage fixes too as well and just a quick side note this update is bringing 5g to india so if you have an iphone that supports 5g connectivity you can now use it in india and on the ipad i did not update my ipad just yet but just to get this video out you have external monitor support so essentially you can have the studio display and the ipad be separate displays so the way how it works you can uh, do something on your ipad while having the external display 
have safari or some document um application so i don't have that installed i might make a shorts on that so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and on tiktok and subscribe to the channel it would be much appreciated thumbs up on the video i would recommend updating this uh, just for the apple music sing the freeform app is pretty dope so yeah go ahead and update the only thing i don't like is that um airdrop 10 minutes for everyone that's kind of whack but nonetheless this is still a worthy update